Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Today in 1839, Paul Cezanne was born, one of the greatest artists of the, of the late uh, second half of the 19th century. Um, said by those who know that uh, in many ways he transformed the way artists viewed their work. There's an exhibition of his paintings on at the Tate Modern at the moment. It's interesting. There are comparatively few subjects um, quite a lot of still life with, with apples and, and cloths and, and jars and quite a number of, of bathers but um, a, a large number of uh, a mountain, uh, Mont Saint-Victoire, which was uh, just at the back uh, of the home where he settled for the latter part of his, of his life in Aix-en-Provence um, and uh, he has done something like 80 pictures uh, of this particular mountain taken from all sorts of different angles, different lights uh, and in fact uh, at the foot of the mountain there's a quarry, Bibines, and uh, it, it's not used now but for years it was a, a quarry producing uh, lots of material and, and employing lots of people but he's, he's spent five years um, just painting um, the rock formation, studying the geological form formation of this of this quarry and the rocks uh, in it. Um, what it appears that Suzanne is trying to do is to really get inside the whatever it is he's painting. Um, one of the things about the Impressionists was that they tended to focus on light and on on, on, on a particular moment, on a feeling that was associated with that particular moment. It, it, it seems with Cezanne he's taking it further by really painting the same topic over and over again, really trying to get to grips with it, knowing that he never will actually manage to express what that job is like, but trying to get inside it. It struck me that as we look around us at the beautiful things in our world, whether it's our, our gardens or some a beautiful picture or photograph or portrait, anything that's, that's beautiful to look at, um, we can just look at it at face value and, and often only spend a few seconds admiring it. Uh, but there's also the opportunity that's presented to us occasionally to really look at something deeply, to really try and engage with it so that it becomes in a sense part of us, which I think was what Cezanne was trying to, to do to get this union between himself and the object that he was, he was painting. And I think really to look at the world like that it is worth the time that you give to it just to sit for a while and really, really look. Something I'm not admittedly very good at. I'm a bit impatient in that way. But I do find when I have done it, there is a value in really trying to absorb the beauty, the intricacy, the detail of whatever the item is that you're looking at. And so let's take up Suzanne's challenge today and really try and get inside the things that we see around us.